file, save. Okay, I'll enter a name and click on save. And when I run this, watch what happens. See what happens? Not much. All right, so I'm going to close this. I'm going to come back over here. All right, so I'm going to call this, and to call it, all I have to do is move, move choice, open parentheses, close parentheses, and it's now going to run. I'll save it. I'll do F5. It runs. Hello, user. Enter a direction of travel. Is the user going to really know what directions are possible? No, not really. I haven't told them. Okay, I'm going to press Q. You've entered an invalid entry. Please try again. Guys and gals, we have to tell them how to get there. Okay, so before running that one, I'm going to also define oops, um, directions, okay, or instructions, okay? And all that's going to be is print, actually, I think I still have that line available, print line. Give them some idea of what's going on in the world. You've entered the world of Neverland. I'll change this one. To move around, you must enter the N, comma, S, comma, E, comma, or W keys to move in that direction, close quote, okay? So now that gives some idea what's, gives them some idea what keys to press. All right, from there, I'm gonna hit return and delete, and then I'm gonna call directions, parentheses, okay? So now when I look at this, I'll zoom in on it for you. When I look at this, Direction is going to run, and then my choice is going to run. Okay. Zoom back out. Press F5. Save it. Uh-oh, didn't like something. What, did not, what didn't it like? Oh, I think I spelled something wrong. Oh, directions. There we go. Hello, please enter the direction of travel. Um, I'm going to press E. You've moved to the eastern sector. Just so you guys can see it, you've moved to the eastern sector. This is an area with a lot of people. All right, if I close this and I run it again, this is basically testing everything, and I press W. You've moved to, this, to the western sector. Okay. So it's running correctly. Now, what if they enter something incorrect? Okay, the letter Q. Please try again. However, you see what happens? They're not anywhere near going back and starting again. I have to prompt this. I have to tell this to go back and start again. So check this out. All right, so I'm going to come back to my code. And where it says directions... Okay, I'm going to run this, but I'm also going to hit return, and I'm going to put up here move choice, open and close parentheses, all right, and then I'm going to get rid of this one at the bottom. So if you notice what's happening here, when I run define directions, which I'm running it down here, it's going to print this line, it's going to print this line, and then it's going to run move choice. Move choice is going to be all of this information right here. Okay? So now when I run this, 
it's going to come down to, and it's going to run everything exactly the way I did it before, except when it comes to the else, I need something else to happen. So I'm going to run directions again here. Okay, so if I get to the else statement, it's going to print this, and then it's going to say, hey, run directions again. Well, directions is going to be print this, print this, and then run this, which is the if else statement. So check it out. Okay, I'm going to type in Q again, hit enter, and what do you know? You've entered invalid entry, please try again. All right, I'll close that. All right, I actually want to add one component here. Print an empty line to kind of space this out. I also didn't like the way this was set up, so I'm going to give it a little bit of space and then a colon here and a space after that. Okay, F5, check it out. If I press Q, you've entered invalid entry, please try again. Enter the world, you can move blah, 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 north, south, east, or west to move in that direction. That directions, I'm gonna change that, but that's fine, we'll simply fix the entry. Thank you. 